Yeah, guys, so if you haven't done so already, go ahead and check out uh, Nebraska Furniture Mart. This is where I'm at. This place is ridiculous. It's like a freaking mall in this joint. They got a wall of TVs for LG. They got Sony. They got everything you can ever want here. They have uh, home theater. They have lawnmower equipment. They have cameras. They have furniture. They have anything you can even think of. Let's see, upstairs they had pots and pans and things like that. Let's just go ahead and show you over here. I was just over here at the premium audio uh, center and there's a couple of uh, speakers in there and notice how it's premium audio, right? I'm gonna go ahead and walk right over here. What do you think is in this room? That's right. It's the ultra towers that I have at home. So like I said, these things deserve to be in, uh, in this place. Over here we have, what's up? Over here we have a couple different speakers. Here we have, I did a demo in here earlier. These are thousands and thousands of dollars of speakers. So whenever they say premium audio, they, they freaking mean it. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you this room right here. This, this has a couple of other Martin Logans, the Revels, and some high-end stuff that, you know, that I'm not used to, so. <laughs> this is a really cool sight to, to see here. I'm, I'm just showing you guys the home theater aspect of it, but there's all, all kinds of stuff that they have here, so. Like, like I said, right over here, we have washers and dryers and refrigerators and, you know, oh my. <laughs> but yeah, man, this place is crazy. These are our Ultra Towers, our flagship loudspeakers, really the ones that put us on the map in the speaker space, which now it's amazing to us. We're so well known for our subs, but speakers are the fastest growing part of our business. It's just really taken us by storm. Uh, so it, it, we're really proud of these. Uh, a very unique design, both in terms of the form factor, but again, as I mentioned earlier, for those that weren't here, everything we do in the design element is about performance. It's geared to derive really reference grade, reference standard audiophile performance in a loudspeaker in particular, as well, of course, with our subwoofers. Um, I'm going to change it up again. I may uh, lose a few of you here. I'm going to go to classical. Any classical enthusiasts in the crowd? Ah, good. I saw some hands, so I won't. It's a couple couple minutes worth of a clip, but it's really a pretty uh, a, a cello uh, piece. Cello is one of those instruments, string instrument, extremely difficult for speakers to render and articulate properly. And with a sub, you now have the sub. To your point earlier, you have a great point picking up uh, uh, some of that heavy lifting. You know, one of the things people don't realize is that a subwoofer extends the life of your speakers. Because speakers really aren't designed to create very low frequencies. It really puts a big time taxing on the driver and the voice coil and everything else. And they really can shorten the life. So when you pair it with a sub, you really do, I love how you, you phrase that, you say, make it work harder or something to that effect, which I love. So you're, you're making the sub pick up that difficult load, that difficult set of, of frequencies. And in the music realm, that's usually in the 40 to 70 to 80 hertz domain. That's, you know, electric bass, electric E on a bass is 40 hertz. In a movie, you know, I know someone put up baby drive, I don't know how this happened, but, uh, you know, in movie, in the, the what you listen to out there, you're talking 18 to 36 hertz domain. So it's a super low octave, even more difficult for speakers to deal with. And you heard it out there with our prime towers paired with our PB4000. So let me show you this concerto, or show you, let me play for you this concerto. Uh, I think you'll love it, and it really does uh, ex show off, I should say, the speakers. So let me just uh, move to track 11 here. And here we go. Thank you. 
felt like you were in your own private, uh, you know, chamber, right? Listening to your own private concert. Um, questions before I move to another track? So you have a bookshelf version of the Ultras too? We do, and they're actually on display here in the showroom. It's the Ultra Bookshelf, and actually, it's the same exact tweeter, and it's the same, same exact driver. And another point, just as an overall, our speakers are all voiced to match. That's hugely important. Because you may want to put some more money into, if it's a multi-channel system, you may want to put some money into an over-the-top center, and that's our Ultra Center, or I thought our Prime Center did an amazing job in there. I heard the dialogue from an extreme angle on the left side of the room, which is a big room. Uh, but you can you can mix an Ultra with a Prime or a Prime with an Ultra. It's all voice to match. Our Prime Elevation speaker works with everything wonderfully. But yes, the, that, the Ultra Bookshelf may be our most award-winning speaker. When you start to read about them, they get rave reviews, and they are very great, a very good uh, low-frequency extension speakers. They go to the mid-40s. They're really, they're kind of a big bookshelf, but they are incredible. I encourage you to go take a look on them. Just over here, make a left and go down into the department, and you'll see them.